and listen, I was a good kid, real smart, but I met a bad friend, devils invaded my heart, now I'm lying to my mother's face, every day then landed in a jail cell two states away, mom's crying in the courtroom, this is not the way that the script of my life was supposed to play, so I'm done pointing fingers at everybody else with a knife, I take the life of the demons in myself. I was born in Santa Fe, New Mexico. I grew up moving around to a lot of different states. When I was young, my parents divorced. And so I grew up living with my mom and my sister. And when I was a freshman, I became best friends with a guy who was actually a very bad influence on my life. At that time, I started smoking marijuana very frequently. And my mom would start catching me doing these uh, bad things a lot more often. It would really, really stress her out. And at one point, it got so bad that she looked me in the eye she said, if you keep on hanging out with your friend, you're gonna end up in jail. She decided that we were gonna move to Cape Elizabeth, Maine, only three or four days later. When I got there, I became friends with another bad group of friends. One day, we drove two states away to Massachusetts to buy some marijuana, ended up getting caught by the police and arrested. And I had to call my mom from the jail cell and tell her that I had been arrested very far away from home. The next morning I had court, she came down, and they listed my charges, one of which was a felony. My mom just started crying in the courtroom. This is the time that I really started pursuing my Buddhist practice, seriously. I'd been born into this Buddhism, but I'd never really taken it upon myself. And I just started chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo to really overcome the situation. The first thing that happened was I was able to really see my life very clearly. I started to see how I was causing a lot of suffering for a lot of people, especially my mother. I also started to feel like I actually had the power to change this situation. At the same time I really started chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, I received an acceptance letter to Soka University of America. Soka University is a school founded by Daisaku Ikeda, it's a small liberal arts school in Southern California. And actually at that time they offered me a full scholarship because I was still able to get good grades during all of this time. And I was able to stop using drugs and get all my charges dismissed. So many things changed in my life. I started writing rap music and spoken word poetry. During my senior year, I reflected on how I had received such an amazing educational experience at Soki University. I really started getting interested in education and I found out about a teaching program called Teach for America, which I applied for. I really didn't think there was any possibility that I could be accepted because it's a very selective program. But somehow I was able to make it to the last stage of the final interview. I really just put my entire life into responding to each and every question. A few weeks later, I found out that I had been accepted to Teach for America. I started chanting to go to the school where I could contribute the most and also grow the most. And what ended up happening was I was placed at an alternative high school in Anthony, New Mexico. Anthony's a town uh, right across the border from Juarez, Mexico. And Juarez was actually a city where there's a lot of violence due to the drug cartels. And was actually the most dangerous city in the entire world in 2010. And I teach at an alternative high school where basically all the students who fall behind on credits or get kicked out of the other schools for discipline issues all come to my school. I teach math. Many of my students hate math. Every single day was just another battle just to survive to the next day, honestly. But I really just tried to do my best, keep getting better, and started to try to use some innovative techniques. In addition, as a reward, sometimes I would rap for my students at the end of the period. And they really, really enjoyed this. It helped me build really great connections with them. Yeah, he's chilling. Habla espanol. It's okay, yo hablo un poco. Hablo, just chilling. Like he looks like a student, so we, we, a lot of people won't respect him because they do other teachers, but he earns that by talking to you and being cool with you and showing you respect first. Mr. Hayashi is a good person, he is a good teacher. I have learned a lot of things in his class that I have learned in other classes. Siempre que iba a Kiatsten o a otras escuelas no me gustaba entrar a la clase de matemáticas, pero con él cambió todo y me ayudó mucho a to improve myself. Yeah. En su clase pienso que es, que es una de las mejores que he estado porque ahí aprendí muchas cosas sobre la matemática y sobre el arte del rap. All the struggles I went through, 
at the time was the worst thing that ever happened in my life. It was such intense suffering. But by challenging it, I was able to overcome those situations, deepen my character, transform my relationship with my mom and so many other people, start practicing Buddhism, and also help others who are going through struggles with drugs and crimes such as my students. I can honestly say now that this is the best thing that ever happened in my life. For me, being Buddhist in America means transforming the negativity in my life and my environment as a means to inspire others and help those who have suffered the most become the most happy.